I'm going to start my self-portrait by drawing a large letter U shape for my head. But I'm going to practice first by tracing my finger on the paper and seeing exactly which size I should make my U. If I make it too small, that's going to be a teeny little portrait. If I make it too big, I'm not going to have any room for hair or any other details. So I need to make sure I make it just right so that it's not too small, but also not too big. So practice with your finger first, and then draw that letter U shape for your head. Next, you're gonna draw two lines down for the neck, a line that connects them, and then two lines down from that to make your shoulders, and that's a portrait. Usually shows your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Now there's a worksheet that you can look at that has different ideas for eyes, noses, and mouths, because everybody's eyes, noses, and mouths are different. So I'm not going to tell you exactly how to draw your eyes, nose, and mouth because they're not exactly the same as mine. So do your best picking out some eyes, maybe eyelashes and eyebrows that look like yours. Draw a nose that kind of looks like your nose. And then pick a mouth, a smiling mouth. Maybe you could do an open smile or a closed smile. You don't have to make a smile at all. Draw two ears on the side of your head. And again, your hair is probably gonna be different from mine. So you might have long hair, short hair, curly hair, straight hair. So try to match your hair with the hair on your head. You can also add some little details like I'm going to do earrings here, or you could draw a pattern on your shirt something like that. All right, now it's time to paint and our self portraits are going to be monochromatic. That means they're going to be just one color and that color is blue because Churchill's a blue ribbon school and we're making these portraits as part of our blue ribbon school celebration. Oh my gosh, and before I continue painting, I forgot one little thing. Let me show you. Actually, one big thing, this is important. I forgot to write my name. I'm writing it on the front so that everybody knows who I am, Mrs. Celeste. All right, do that before you paint. Don't be like me and forget. All right, back to my monochromatic painting. So it's not going to be boring even though I'm just using one color, blue. I've got a couple different kinds of blue, a regular blue and a blue violet. And with watercolor, you can make the paint look darker or lighter depending on how much water is on your brush. So if you use more water and less paint, it will be lighter. And if you uh, really dig into that paint and get a lot of it on your brush, it'll be darker. So try to experiment with making the paint lighter or darker where you need it. You could also mix the two different kinds of blues together on your paper. My monochromatic self-portrait's almost done. I'm just going to add some patterns so some little swirls and dots, you can do that too with the paint. And now my monochromatic portrait is ready for the drying rack.